All right, Shalom on the First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our elders, the apostles, the great millstone, and honors to you, brothers, who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. This lesson is entitled, Just Wait Till He Stop Nourishing You. All right, JC, you being nourished. And that, you know, often when you get around brothers, as brothers in the truth, we end up talking about certain survival things. Like Apostle Har used to tell you back in the day, hey, get you a wood stove. You know what I'm saying? Get some, get something that ain't dependent on this society. But when you look at our people that are outside this truth and are just doing what they do, they literally survive off of whatever this devil got to give them. They don't know how to survive on their own. You got a whole entire earth with plants and everything, and they'll die of starvation before they eat a flower on the field. That's crazy. Like, you can eat flowers, but they'll, our people are so behind and so behind the curve and so uneducated that they'll die of starvation uh, uh, because they depending on something else. This is a scripture. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12. You know, um, yeah, Jake got demons on him yeah. yelling and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going, going hard for no reason. Yeah, Talking to himself. You know, because hey, hey, his word opened. Yep. You know? <laughs> that when he started yelling, when, when, the, when he got near the brothers, Good. he wasn't yelling down there. Okay. But this is a Revelation 12 and 14. And to the woman, the woman is the nation of Israel. We're given, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. The serpent is Esau. And the serpent cast out his mouth, water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. What is that flood? That flood is all the indoctrinations and enchantments and everything you see on TV uh, uh, and everything you hear on the news and all of that. It's all traps to destroy the Israelites that are here. All right, so when you, that's why you be seeing the one eye open, you see the baffle man. Yeah, I can throw the sign. It ain't no enchantment against Jake. I ain't sold out. <laughs> but yeah. They got that, they got the eye, they got all this other stuff, man. And our people fall into it. Not everybody want to be rich. Even in the middle of the coronavirus, you can't even go to a club. You can't stun on nobody. You can't do anything right now. But our people, they, they mind still on, I need money, 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 money. And you ain't thinking about your how about show me how shot. That's why this lesson is entitled, Wait Till He Stop Nourishing You. See, it's going to come to a point to where you can't go to that guy. Y'all already learned. When times get hard, you can't go to Walmart. Walmart ain't got no chicken. Especially for you, Eve. Single mother, I'm independent. Somebody finna buy you a drink at the club. You ain't got nobody dress up for no, uh, uh, dress up for no more, Eve. You ain't got nothing going for you. The single woman is the worst one hurt in this situation. Yeah. If you look at the women who got men, notice they got a they they worry, but they got a sense of security on their face when they walk in the grocery store or wherever you see them. Or when a man going to the liquor store buying a bottle, she has a sense of security. But you see, Eve, Eve buying all the cheap ass wine she could buy. It ain't good for her, but she buying the cheapest stuff in the liquor store trying to get drunk as hell so she could drown out how much she really messed up. All right, but I'm not just talking about Eve. I'm talking about our nation as a whole. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys who behind the curve, <laughs> you ain't been paying attention. You didn't find out that the liquor store, I mean, that the uh, grocery stores was, was being uh, um, uh, scavenged until after the fact. So when you found out, you was too busy making hashtag coronavirus challenge. You were too busy doing dances and everything. So then when you end up going to the grocery store, now you can't get no bread. Now you thinking about robbing a dude who barbecuing. Now you got all this going on your mind, man. Because you failed. 
just wait till the, just wait till you get to the grocery store now even the people who was watching and saw it even them wait till you get to the grocery store now the national guard over there the military or some international foreign troops over there and like only essential workers can get in here you got to pass well then you better find out where to eat on your own because you ain't getting it here wait till that happened to you jake now you're gonna be trying to kill people now you're gonna be trying to rob people now you're gonna be trying to kidnap children now you're gonna be you're gonna be trying to your crazy ass is crazy enough to start fighting the military after that this devil is gonna stop nourishing you like the scripture said he's gonna nourish you for a time a time jake but then after that He's done with you. There's not going to be any benefits for you. There's not going to be anywhere for you to go. And then you're going to come on the highways or you're going to start texting brothers that you knew. Man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I was this, I was that, yada, yada. You're going to come out on the highways and guess what? The camp ain't going to be here. You want to know why we ain't going to be here? Because we not stupid. We listen to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. The scriptures say, "The prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished." So, therefore, as prudent men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, when we do notice danger, we're not gonna be out here trying to teach you, Jake. Personally, Mississippi Camp was started the late, the latter end of uh, 2008. The apostles been in New York. Since what, 70? Yeah, yeah. Teaching you, 1970. Yeah. Every week, no breaks. Sometimes multiple times a week. And the apostle told <coughs> he done had marathon classes with the rest of the apostles. So when you come out here, it ain't no excuse for you, man. We did our part. We came out here, we taught you. We did what we were supposed to do. And in the end, you fucked up, Jake. Excuse my language, but you fucked up in the end. You didn't want to pay attention to it. You thought that hole was more important. You thought what you had going on at the house with your woman or your kids was more important than doing this. You thought shaving your beard to get that good job was more important than this. You thought that, hey, as long as I get this money, I'm good. You thought that was more important than this. So you took your dumb ass out there and got a job on an oil rig instead of getting in the truth and getting with the camp. You did what you did, Jake. Now you got to suffer the consequences for your actions. And I'm going to tell you right now, just wait till the devil stop nourishing you. You on your own, Jake. Mm -hmm. We did what we were supposed to do. We did our job. Like Paul said, I fought the good fight. So now we get into the time where we watching the wrath and judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai real time. We're seeing it right before our eyes. But guess what? We good. Like the scriptures say, you got brothers grilling. You got brothers drinking. You got brothers eating. I ain't talking about just down here. I'm talking about all over America. You got brothers doing all of that. What are you doing, Jake? You don't even know where to find me. You don't know where to find me. You don't have a brotherhood to go back to. All you got is your wife, if you got that. The wife you left everybody for. The wife you left Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for. And now this devil ain't nourishing you or your wife. He's still giving you certain things to do for right now, but he's going to completely cut that off. Now, the only advice you get to get is from your wife, if you got one. The person you fell out the truth for. The person who you didn't get in the truth for. You can't ask your kids where to go to get some food, get some food or how to survive. When you ain't being nourished no more. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to have to be with you. All right, so Lord will you edify? Hey, like I say, Jake, don't look at us now. You call us puffed up, arrogant, or unmerciful all you want. We did our part. You on your own, Jake. Shalom.